Hi, this is John from Sysenge Quick, and today I'm going to show you how to make your rule sets more readable with comments, and also how to make sure your rules will stay put after you reboot the system. Right now, all these rules are only in the current kernel. When you reboot, they'll all disappear, unless we find a way to save them. So, first, let's talk about comments. Comments make your rule sets more readable. So, let's get rid of this SSH rule and add it back with a comment. So, first, we'll delete the rule, and then we'll add it back with a comment. To add a comment, all you have to do is add the comment module. So, there's the same rule we had before. Add the comment module and the comment parameter with what comment you want in there. If it's got spaces, you need to put it inside quotes. If it doesn't have spaces, it can go inside quotes or not. So I'll use single quotes, and I'm going to say allow SSH from all. Now if I look at our IP tables rules again, you can see I've got the same rule set in there, but this time I've got a comment in there. So when you have large rule sets or lots of rule conditions or very specific use case rules, these comments can make it a lot easier to figure out what's happening. So I'm going to take a minute and replace all these rules and add comments to them, and then we'll see how to make the IP tables rules persist. Okay, now that I've got the rules for everything, let's go ahead and see how to... <clears throat> All right, now that I've got all the comments added, let's go ahead and see how to make the rules persistent. If you're running Debian or a derivative like Ubuntu or Mint, you'll need to install the IP tables persistent package first. So let's do that first. It's going to ask you to install that. It's going to ask you to save the current rules. I'm going to say no, so I can show you how to save them yourself. So now to actually save the rules, we need to run the IP tables save command. And we're going to point the output of that into etc IP tables rules.v4. And if we want the IP6 table saved, we use the IP6 table saved. So now we can cap the etc rules.v4, and we don't have any rules.v6, so that's fine. But you can see it's got all of our rules in here. And they're mostly the same pattern as just using IP tables. So pretty much this is the exact same thing, just without using IP table stuff. And now we have our rules saved. So it'll survive a reboot. So let's go ahead and do that, and we can confirm that. In the meantime, if you're using Red Hat or one of its way distributions like Fedora or CentOS, it's slightly different. Let's switch over to a CentOS box and take a look at that. First, we're going to have to disable Firewall D. So we'll stop Firewall D. And we will disable it. And now we need to install IP Table Services. All right, now we want to enable the IP Table Service. And now we can run the IP table save command. But this time it's etc sysconfig IP tables. And that's all you have to do to save your IP tables rule. Okay, so let's make sure that Debian machine worked out okay. We'll restart the session, and we can see our rules were loaded on boot. That's all there is. See you next time.